people that are giving advices, please, um, talk to Omoye Leshawore, talk to Pito B. Let's see how they can join together. If they join together, the game is over. They, I don't care what they do in Nigeria. I don't care who's want to run the president or who want to be the vice president. It does not matter to me. But if two of them join together and be in AAC, I swear, eh, Nigeria will be a brand new place. And Omoye Leshawore has said that if he become the president of Nigeria or if he is in a position to make sure that there's a referendum for for the Biafrans or for Nigeria that he's going to make sure that it happens. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jane. This is the first time you're seeing me. Thank you so much for stopping by. <clears throat> for my return subscribers, I love you from my heart mwah, to you. Thank you so much. I'm just coming back from work. Before I go and take a shower, let me just make this video quick. Internet is about to explode today. So let me put my system there so that it won't look like I'm seeing. I'm just walk and pass. Walk and pass. Let me just put my own opinion there. Not be only me walk and come. So today, eh? I'm from Nigeria. For those of you that don't know where I'm from. Today, the Nigerian news is, is too much. It is just too much. A lot of people in our country, this is election time in our country. This is election, uh, next year, February will be election. So election time in our country is a very, very serious time in our country. A lot of people get deleted. A lot of people get kidnapped. A lot of, in short, is so serious in Nigeria. It's very, very serious, like I'm telling you. So, over there, a lot is happening right now. So today, uh, I woke up and I saw any Naya Baribe. He's a senator uh, from the southeast. A senator uh, saying he's running for governorship for 2023 in Abia State to replace the Mumudaurus there now. So today, they're supposed to do the primary. And he dropped out from that uh, PDP and said that what is happening there that he didn't like that he doesn't like what is happening there so for that reason he's going to drop out i think they are in court he said they are in court so excuse me i'm sorry he said joining them to continue with what they are doing today wednesday shows that he is supporting what they are doing that's what he said so for that reason he took himself out from pdp pdp and apc is the two parties in nigeria that that have been draining our country. They take it, they go from PDP to APC, from APC to PDP. They keep jumping from, so, but this time, um, any Naya Abaribe, he jumped out from PDP. People were listening to see if he wants to get into uh, APC. And he jumped out. But APC and PDP, I said, eh, hey, whoa, eh, hey, whoa. All these things that we are saying on social media, all these things that people are talking in social media, that they are jumping from PDP to APC, they are really listening. I thought they were not listening. I thought they were dummy. He jumped out from PDP and he did not jump in from APC. But he has not announced where he will be going. He said, if I join them to do this primary today, that means... I am supporting what they are doing, which is already in court. So that one is Eni Naya Baribe, who is one of the senators in Nigeria. So a lot is going on. Oh, my God. So as I was looking at that one, trying to digest it, then I see, um, uh, what is it? Peter Obi. Hey, Peter Obi is, uh, two, 2019 is PDP <clears throat> vice president for pdp with a atiku when they didn't win he went on his way atiku went on their way so this 2023 atiku came out again atiku came out again to run for president atiku is 80 something or maybe i don't know atiku came out again to run for president then one the same peter will be to be the vice president when peter will be has already uh, declared himself as one of the presidential candidates and in nigeria people like pito b people like pito b because when he was a governor in anambra state he did so so well he did so well and even left so much money uh, uh, in in surplus 
and did in short he did so well so people like him a lot of people like him but what the people that don't like him is the same uh government that don't want anything about p2b and p2b is well like especially in Igbo land they like him some other parts they like him so today p2b just is a pdp person just jumped out so we are thinking that he is going to jump out from pdp and jump into apc he just jumped out he left apc and pdp so that means all these things that we are saying about what they are doing how they are transferring our money from apc to pdp they are all listening they are not as uh, uh, they are not as dumb as we think they are so their ears are on the on the ground so they are listening so they just want to pick and choose which one they want to hear so he's out from pdp he's not in pdp he's not in apc an election is in the in february so now they are waiting to hear which party that he will join which party that he want to join since he's not going to be in pdp or apc so that's why i am here you know to give my little six cents he said if i wear him eh join some of this little little party like aac hmm? if just imagine in your head imagine in your head if peter obi and omoye lesho were joined together eh nigeria will shake it nigeria will shake it now Nigeria will, the noise will make in Nigeria. So people that are giving advices, please, um, talk to Omoye Leshawore, talk to Pitobi, let's see how they can join together. If they join together, the game is over. They, I don't care what they do in Nigeria. I don't care who want to run the president or who want to be the vice president. It does not matter to me. But if two of them join together and be in AAC, I swear, eh? Nigeria will be a brand new place. And Omoye Leshawore has said that if he become the president of Nigeria or if he is in a position to make sure that there's a referendum for, for the Biafrans or for Nigeria, that he's going to make sure that it happens. So we, we I take people in their words. I take people for what they say. And I believe that Omoye Leshawore, if Omoye Leshawore is given a chance to do to be up there, to be up there in the president, Omoye Leshawore will do something amazing. So my opinion is Omoye Leshawore and Peter will be joined together. Figure out who want to be what. I don't care what the, who want to be what in two of them. If they join together, eh? This Biafra thing will come down. I swear, this Biafra, um, what they are doing in Biafra land, deleting our people, it will come down. Because now, our people will finally know that their own is up there. I am not kidding with you. So the people that are making all these decisions, please. If all our brothers, our sisters in small, small uh, party, one man today made this news. He said, if everybody will come together and throw APC and PDP away, and join together and form one uh, one party. Hey, Chinekena, that these people will know that they are gonna, and that it is us, the Nigerians, that will tell them where to stay. So this is good news, oh! It is a it's a massive, massive news, massive news that Peter B left um, PDP, and for Peter B to leave PDP, PDP has slumped. PDP has gone to the to, to 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 the trash. APC is already there. So I don't know. I know this news is shaking in Nigeria. I know this news is making waves. But people who are giving advice, please, um, Doctor Chid, I know you are there, oh. Doctor Chid. Talk to Mo Eleshawore. This is a good chance. Let him go and look for where Peter will be. Is let's just sell all our pride. Sell all the pride. Everybody sell their pride and let us join together now. If if ever, oh my God, I don't even want to think about what will happen in Nigeria. If ever Omoye Leshawere, because Omoye Leshawere is loved. Omoye Leshawere is loved by the youth. And then Peter Obi is loved by the Southeast. Chinekenna. 
Then what else are we talking about? What else are we talking about? You will see things happening in Nigeria. So, my lovely people. So, please, the people... Uh, that's why I came here. I didn't take off my clothes. Oh, my son said, Mommy, go take a shower. If I take a shower, it's almost 9 30. I will just go to bed. So I said, No, let me make this video. My people understand. They understand. They have seen me now. And uh, uh, that's okay. Don't let's not go there. So that's why I'm making this video. Then to top everything, then the cocoa of the cocoa, the cocoalistic of the day is <laughs> Captain. Rochas or Crochas plane. Mm. Captain Rochas or Crochas plane didn't take off. Oh. He did not take off. Oh. He went there with his uh, key to see if he can start the plane. The plane did not start. So I start. I, I'm I'm trying to watch. I said, ah, how come the plane is not uh, starting? I found out that the EFCC said that uh, he did some fraud. Uh, to Nigeria, we did some front to Imo State for 2.9 billion uh, naira. So, and as soon as they told him that, uh, they did interview. I saw him on the interview. Rocha so Rocha. For those of you, the flight, the flight person, the flight uh, flight that said that he is flight Rocha so Rocha that he has landed to save Nigeria. So this is the one that is uh, they doing fraud for Nigeria for 2.9 uh, billion and he he disregarded everything um, that EFCC said and joined uh, to go and be the president. So today it's supposed to be when he's supposed to go and do the declaration or whatever they do uh, to pay their 100 million or whatever to join the 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 I don't know what they do. I'm not there. I don't know what they do. So EFCC just jumped into his house today. I did not like what EFCC is doing. No, I do not like the way if somebody, if, if you want to arrest somebody, give somebody arrest a warrant, come there with your warrant, and then arrest the person. I did not like that. They have to break his home. They're coming to the ceiling. This is his house. They are coming through the ceiling. The people are coming to the ceiling. Look at this. Look at this. Breaking his house like this. Like this is the roof. Breaking his roof to come inside. The EFCC trying to arrest him. And he is in his home. So for the EFCC to want to do this. To EF, for EFCC to do this. Maybe they have tried to call him and he's not coming out for whatever reason. So EFCC went through the roof and came through the roof and destroyed this house like this. Which is very, very, very bad because Nigerian government or Nigerian people, every little thing, they, they destroy people's house. This this is no reason to destroy this man's house like this. So when I saw this, when I saw this, so I went ahead and I, I said, okay, why why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Then I saw where he was where he is on the ground. Where he is on the ground praying for Nigerians. Okay, this is telling me that EFCC came to his house instead of him coming out. Instead of him coming out to say, Hey, EFCC, I am not running away from you. I am not running away. I am here. You don't have to destroy my house. I am here. Arrest me. Take me to wherever it is that you want to take me. Do not destroy my house. He barricaded himself inside his home. He lay down on the ground he, with his children, his family, his wife, and everybody. They are there, and he's praying, calling Nigerians to come and save him. Calling the same people that he did not give light. Calling, this man was a governor. 
this one this man i am not saying that the way that they are breaking his house is 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 good it's very very bad because he could be anybody it could be you or it could be me they come to your house because they think they have a gun they will just come to your house and just start breaking your house start shooting on your house start destroying your house start doing nonsense in your house so they did this thing in this man's house and instead of him coming out instead of him coming out to say I'm here. Uh, leave my family alone. I am here. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. He barricaded himself inside the room. And then he's there praying for Ekele Maria, for Ekele Maria, Egypt and Agraisa to come and help him. He's praying. So these people that think they have all this power, they can't even stand this common policy that their uniform are so torn. They can't stand them. And they have audacity not to give us light. They have audacity not to give us road. They have, all of them, let me tell you, all of them, one by one, one day, they will be shamed like they, like a Rocha Sokrocha is being shamed today. All of them, including Vice President of Nigeria, all of them will be shamed like this. So, and the person that is open, I will make a separate video about what Nam Dekano has done. Nam Dekano, eh? He, he were prophets. Nah, they, they were prophets. And okay, nobody can tell you anything. Nam Dekano is the eye opener. Nam Dekano is, 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 I don't know what else, the word, the, the, the big word that I can use to explain what Nam Dekano has done. In Nigeria, because it's because of Nam Dekano that we are now seeing, no and knowing that these people don't like the Igbos, and the Igbos are just keeping quiet. And the only reason they are talking now because Nam Dekano have opened their eyes to see, say, look, this is this. Now, now full and here. This is this. Full and here. Full and here. Full and here. Full and here. Where are your own people? Why are you guys not talking? It is the same now the kind of that is saying, why should a cow be on the road? Why should a cow come inside people's house and delete people inside? It is the same on Nam Dekano. And all of them, all these people that are barricading themselves inside them, inside the home, inside their homes, are keeping quiet. There was a time that they did interview on Rocha Sokorocha. Rocha Sokorocha, they asked him about what Nam Dekano has is doing about wanting the Biafra. He said, he said, leave, uh, leave those uh, young, he's, they, he's a young boy. So if Nigeria has to break, it won't be young boys that will do it. It will be us. Look, it will be us. Who are they? Us, him. Him now that the common EFCC came to him and he led that. You think if EMCC came to Nam Dekano, Nam Dekano will go and hide like this? Nam Dekano will not hide like this. Nam Dekano will come out in front of them and put his hand down and say, arrest me and leave my people alone. Nam Dekano will never do this. He said because Nam Dekano is a small boy. Now him that is a big boy, they came to his house and he could not stand them. He could not stand them and stand for his rights. And he's there calling the same Nigeria that he could not give root. He's calling the same Nigeria that he was their governor. He was the governor of Igbo State for eight years. He could not put light. He could not do road. He could not build one hospital. But he's calling the same Nigeria. There was another video where Nigerians, when they finally arrested him, Nigerians are, are, are crying. Hey, hey, leave Korocha, so Korocha. He didn't do anything to you guys. Leave him alone. He did not do. I say, hey, our people, Una, they Una be mumu for real. Una be mumu for real. Rocha so Korocha with everything he came and bragged to us that I'm, I, I have money. I have money. I have money. That you people think I, I, I don't have money. I have money. Even my security vote in my, in my state for eight years, I did not take it. So what did he do with it? I don't know. He told us to the same Rocha so Korocha, the same one that is hiding, the same one that is praying Ekele Maria told us too that 
if he open his mouth and tell us something about the president of Nigeria, eh, that the ears that will hear it will think, oh, that the ears will, that will hear it, that they better don't make him talk. Oh. Maybe now that EFCC is holding him in his hand, oh, maybe now that EFCC have moved him up from the ground where he was playing, playing Ekele Maria, maybe now he can open his mouth and tell us that thing that he said if he told us that our ears will think, oh, because that's what we want to hear. Please, Rocha Sokrocha, Captain Rocha Sokrocha, give it to us. Captain Rocha Sokrocha, I want to get in that plane that you want to drive, when you want to fly us. Captain Rocha Sokrocha, please open the book of what you know, what you told us you know, that if you tell us, that we will not believe it. Please, we want you to start talking now. Maybe if you start talking, they will leave you alone. All of you that have been doing all these things for you to be over there now they are telling you that you are you have done all their work that they want you to do for them now they said bullshitting you they bullshitting you like you don't matter so today's news was so much if i continue to tell you everything that happened only today only today eh this video will reach two hours but i'm going to leave it on this uh, three of them and as we hear what is going to happen, I will tell you guys, I love you all so much. If you guys can just excuse me, I will just carry myself and go to the bathroom and take a shower. God bless you guys. I appreciate all of you. I, if you know how much I appreciate all of you, you will not believe it. But I do from my heart to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.